Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Blog tutorial. Today we're going to look at the Media Explorer. I'll give you kind of a basic overview of how you use the Media Explorer. So let's start off with how you get to the Media Explorer. Go to the View menu, and it's right here, Media Explorer. You can also use the shortcut. It'll list the shortcut here, but this shortcut may be different on your system than it is for mine. Up here we have our navigation. We can go to the directory above this one. We can go to the previous directory we looked at. We've got the path written here. We can go down to some recent ones here. And then we can search within the current folder or subfolders. On the left side column, we have a list of shortcuts. In a fresh installation of Reaper, this list is pretty small. But over time, you start filling this up with shortcuts. The shortcuts could be folders that you use frequently. They can be databases. They could be hard drives. So this top one here, project directory, this will always show you the current project directory, the audio files in it. I don't have a saved project right now, so it's showing me the contents of the Reaper Media folder in my documents, which is where any unsaved recordings go. Clicking on volumes brings me to the list of the connected drives on the system. Track templates is a link to your track templates folder within the Reaper's resource folder. Current projects is one of the shortcuts that I've saved. Here I can see a bunch of different projects. I can double click to open up one, see my project, my most recent backup, audio files folder, and then the files that are within it. We can see WAV files, we can see MIDI files. We also see the basic properties of the item file size, the creation date, and type of file it is. You can right click in the columns to show and hide, and you can click and drag to reorder them. You can also sort descending, ascending for any column. We can filter this list with the option up the top. We can type in .mid. It'll just show us the MIDI files. We type in GTR. It'll just show us the guitar files. We right click here, we see our main menu for the Media Explorer. And there's a lot of different options here. I'm not going to go through them all. Something I'd like to bring your attention to is the search options here, search metadata. This will search within the files for the um, different tags that you can apply, such as artist and album information, the genre, and the BWF comments, which are often used for sample libraries. Let's go to my database for sample uh, sound effects libraries. And I'm now browsing a database. And I'll explain databases in a moment. You can see here that there are different columns now. And some of these items have descriptions, such as uh, this is more information about this gun sample. If I'm looking for bolt action, this item, well, all of these will pop up in the search, even though the file names don't have the word bolt action in them. Now to preview a file, we can just press spacebar. Or there's transport controls here, play. We'll keep playing from the beginning. We can pause it. We can stop it to go back to the start. We can repeat the entire file or a selection of it. We can change routing for the audio coming out of the Media Explorer. Usually you're going through the main out, but you can do things like uh, play through select a track. So if you have an effects chain already and you want to audition some samples in the context of your mix, you can do that as well. Next up, we have autoplay, which will automatically play as we go to the next file as soon as we click on it. Right. Over here, we have tempo match options. We can match the project's tempo, or attempt to, half the speed or double the speed. We can also adjust the pitch. And over here, we have a volume for our preview. So we can turn that down. We can adjust the pitch up. Play that again. When we find a sound that we want, we can just click and drag up into a project like that. 
And often when I'm working with the Media Explorer, I have it docked. So I right click in some empty area of the Media Explorer and then I dock Media Explorer in Docker. And this is how I like to work. Totally up to you how you like to work. Another thing we can find in the options is what happens when you double click something. So we can insert a media item or in the case of a project file, we'll open that project. We could start the preview, we could do nothing. And then when we're inserting a media item, should it go to the selected track? Should it go on a new track? For projects, should it open in the current project window? Should it open in a new tab? Or should it insert the project as a proxy file? I like it set up like this, but often I'm switching between insert on new track or insert on selected track. So I'm going to go with insert on new track. And now I can click this, double click, and it's going to put it on a new track wherever the cursor is. And I'm going to turn off autoplay because we don't really. So it always adds a new track um, at the end of the project. If I click here, let's put it at the end of the project. So to import files, we're dragging and dropping or we're double clicking to add it to a new track. Or if we want on the selected track. So before I mentioned databases, so a database is a collection of files. You are collecting things that are similar and so that you can access them more easily. You can browse with the BWF description, and you can also insert a custom tag. So custom tag is just double clicking. This window pops up and you can just type in whatever you want. Nice. There you go. So this is a searchable tag. It doesn't do anything to the actual file that's on the hard drive. Uh, so it's not a way to add metadata to your items, but it's a way for you to easily search for things. All right, so how do we make a database? Right click here, create new database, and we'll call it, it doesn't matter what it's called, but I like to add in the prefix DB just so that it's organized. So I know that these are databases. So once we have a database here, we can add a path, we can add in an individual file. So I'm gonna browse some stuff on my drives. For example, here's my sample library. I'll take this one here, click open, and now it's going to scan the database. You can see just how fast it is to add items to a database. And once things are searched and organized, it's so fast to actually search for things. So it's making that database and I can add more folders to this database if I want. And if I change these folders on the drive, I can scan for new files. I can scan and reread all metadata. So if I've updated my metadata, tagged them in an external program, I can update all of that stuff. And if you want to reorganize these, you can just simply drag and drop to um, change the order. So back to our database, we've got all these files and most of them do not have any tags. Some of them do, but not most of them. We can also grab an individual sound from a sample library and then we can drag this onto a database and that single file will be added to the library as well our database so i think that's a pretty good place to stop i've talked about where to find the media explorer how to navigate the media explorer how to preview sounds how to search your files how to create a database how to add tags to files so i think you guys are pretty good to go Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Got a lot more things coming up. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support me on Patreon. And please visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.